be careful about pollution. We've heard grime multiplies in toxic sludge. What? <laughs> hey guys, it's been a welcome back to Pokemon Blue. In the last part, we proceeded down from Route 5. We managed to get to Vermilion City, and we checked it around a bunch. We also got a, ourselves a bicycle, and now we're going to head down to the docks. SSN is a famous luxury cruise ship. We visit Vermilion once a year. Hopefully these guys will be back in three years' time. Welcome to SSN. Excuse me, do you have a ticket? Flash. Great, welcome to SSN. Also, if you like this game, buy it or die. Wait, what? Also, here's some nice different music. I'm gonna be... I, I unfortunately will not be singing it. Uh, I think so. The passengers are restless. You might be challenged by the, by the more bored ones. <laughs> oh, that's great. One thing I do like is that because this is a cruise ship, it's gonna stay in harbor for at least some amount of time, which basically means we're gonna check out every single door. Yeah. I travel alone on my journeys. My Pokemon are my only friends. Jeez, what a lonely guy. What a lonely guy. Um, you may be pleased to know that in this very large ship, it is actually a very large place, but thankfully you can exit it very easily. I also still have Birdo out. Uh, mainly because this guy has a Growlithe. Um, did I... No? Okay, Growlithe... Uh, has some pretty good stats, actually. And, uh, Growlithe also evolves with a Firestone, which basically means... Yeah, I, I'd recommend Growlithe. Uh, only problem, uh, he gets Flamethrower at level 50, which is extremely late in the game. If it's anywhere above level 40, that's pretty late in the game, I'll tell you that. Um, he does have quite a bit of a defense, I'll tell you that. Look at that. Look at it go. Um... So yeah, come on, yeah, yeah, okay, uh, the other problem with uh, Growlithe is that it is a Pokemon Red exclusive, thankfully this guy has two of them. <laughs> uh, it is a Pokemon Red exclusive, Volpix, which we haven't met yet, is the blue alternative, um, Growlithe is better, unfortunately, Growlithe has the better attack and it ultimately becomes better, oh, oh no, Raw, Raw does nothing, really, it's supposed to switch it, oh, yeah, there's Ember. We're all supposed to switch out your active party member to uh, another one. Uh, in battles, it's actually very awkward because if uh, it makes you flee immediately. I don't actually know if it does the trainer battle thing. My my friends. Now go to sleep, dear chap. Thankfully, I do believe someone on this boat does heal you. Only one person, though, I think. <laughs> but someone somewhere heals you. Uh, you'll also be pleased to know that, despite the fact that there's a lot of, uh, trainers on this boat, for example, here's another guy, uh, despite the fact that there are a lot of trainers on this boat, I don't think... Uh, you pop, how dare you, Bajin? I don't think, uh, there's only one hidden, or well, I think there's two hidden items, two hidden items, according to my notes, uh, in this whole place. Uh, granted, they're not really that necessary. Baba! Okay, so we got we got ourselves another dude. Uh, oh damn! Leech seed. When in doubt, leech seed. So yeah, yeah. I I I, I thought I wouldn't evolve before the gym. Uh, I'm I'm not going to evolve. Seriously, we're so far away. We're still a good eight levels away. I don't think there's eight levels worth of trainers here. Also, by the way, I'm just thinking, uh, all the trainers in Route 11, you know, the route that was to the right of us at the beginning? I'm a little bit worried that all of their Pokemon, their Pokemon are weaker, yes! Okay, uh, if you're finding all of these battles a little bit too tough, I recommend heading, uh, east from, uh, Vermilion City into Route 11. There are a few trainers in there, and they are quite weak. I, w I would recommend fighting them. Um, I will fight them before... We uh, proceed on to Lieutenant Surge. I will show you what, what's in that route because you can still see the whole of that route specifically. Route 11. Um, the, there is a sleeping Pokemon that does block you off from proceeding any further though and you can't really deal with that until a fair bit later in the game. Ouch. Uh, yeah. Anyway, you do need... Uh, by the way, I did say that you can kind of... Past Lieutenant Surge without getting cut. Uh, I think, yeah, you do need 
cut in order to beat the game, though. <laughs> Waiter, I would like a cherry pie, please. <laughs> Jeez, that's that's nice. Hello, Mr. First Mate. Bonjour, I am Lee Weta on the ship. I will be happy to serve you anything you please. Ah, the strong silence type. What? Okay. <laughs> sure. Uh, this person right here. I always travel with Wigglytuff. Pew, pew, pew. What do you say? Yes. So yeah, so there are people on this boat that don't really fight you. I think I... Did I skip one dorm? I... Nope. Okay. I, I thought I did skip one, I was just like, what? There are so many rooms, it's ridiculous. For example... You can see where this is going. I love Pokemon. Don't to you, uh. Okay, so, anyway, we got more people to fight. We have a youngster. I actually do believe that there's only one more person to fight on this floor, though. Even though that there's a lot of rooms to check out, honestly, there aren't a lot of trainers. This guy does have a level 21 Nidoran male, though. He which, officially, level 21 is the highest, it's the strongest uh, level that we've fought so far. Also, Poison Sting, it's not effective against uh, two types. Horn Attack. Horn. Horn Attack's actually kind of strong. Uh, I don't think, I don't think Nidoran's exclusive to learn it, but it is, it is kind of like his thing. I am great, thank you. Anyway, you'll find TM08 here. TM08 is Body Slam, which is a very good normal type move that has a chance of paralyzing. We are cruising around the world. I also believe this is the other trainer that fights you. I collected these Pokemon from all around the world, which is weird because you'd think by this stage they would have Pokemon from other generations, but apparently not. Also, it's a Pidgey. Dude, I'm, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, ma'am, but this is a Pidgey. I don't care if you caught in Sweden, in Scotland, but it's a Pidgey! It's, just, it's incredibly weak Pidgey. And it's level 18 as well, it's just like, yeah, nah. Cause, cause all of Mis Misty had a level 18. In fact, quite a few trainers on uh, on uh, the route north of us had level uh, 18 Pokemon. Uh, I will switch out after this though. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so I do want I do want to train Bubba specifically, but because these guys aren't gonna be as much help. Uh, I also do know that it is a Nidoran female and it is poison type, and Birdo is not going to be strong against the poison type. However, Fury Attack and your argument is invalid. You know these guys do have quite good defense, or they have a lot of HP. Oh, yep, nope, the growl, growl. You know what that means? Just stick to Peck. Yeah, Pe Peck won't do like if it if I do two Fury attacks, Peck will only do slightly more. I think Peck does 40 damage, uh, whereas uh, Fur Fury Cutter does 18 for each. So if I do two attacks, then yeah. Um, we're, we're gonna keep checking out the rooms though. What are you gonna say? Shh. He's a global police agent. He's on the trail of Team Rocket. Rocket to the moon. And I'm on a rocket ship. And then I went up. And then I went. I was flying. And I got a couple of flies in my stomach. Um. So yeah, anyway, yeah. So we are on floor one of this place. And I believe that you can head outside. We are the chefs. I saw an odd ball in the trash. Uh, this is this is a bit of a hint saying go over to this trash can that this one specifically because there is a great ball in it. That is one of the two hidden items in this place. Other than that, everyone's gonna be like, nope, there's only trash here. Which is weird because you're gonna get bored of that. He peels spuds every day. Did you hear about Snorlax? All it does is eat and sleep. I know, I love it. What is it? <laughs> oh no, what a terrible job. I'm Le Chef. Le main course is prime beef steak. But have I enough fillets to beef? <laughs> uh, I'm assuming it's Taurus, right? I'm, I'm so busy, I'm getting dizzy. 
visit Izzy. And when I, I didn't talk to this guy. You, mon petit, we're busy, out of the way. So yeah, there is nothing really here, but hey. You know, free Great Ball. And great Balls are, they cost 600 Poke Bucks each, which it's a bit, but it's not a lot. Let me tell you that. Also, this goes downstairs, right? So good. Okay. This guy's gonna fight us, isn't he? Oh, no, he's not. Oh, sweet, it's a max potion. Great. Anyway, a max potion fully restores all your health. Also, this guy is the strength. It's not as good as a full restore, but hey, hey, I'm not complaining about a max potion. Although, well, I kind of will, would be at this point in the game. Uh, I think both of these guys are the guys that fight you. Which is a bit of a shame, because, yeah. Also, have we ever fought a sailor before? I don't think we have. This guy is a horsey. He's a bit of a... Yeah, yeah, about that. He's a horsey. Yeah. Um. So anyway, yeah. So I guess fury attack. Have we fought a horsey? Yeah, we have. Yeah, we fought him in the gym. Oh, I, I, I actually forgot entirely where the um. I actually forgot where the healing is, so I might actually back up. I forgot, there is someone in here who heals you, and I completely forgot who they were, but I don't trust myself to be str uh, to withstand everything else. And this guy's got a shelter! He's going to completely beat me, unless if Bubba can do some good. Except Bubba's going to be faster, and Bubba's going to completely wipe me out in one hit, because he's seven levels higher. And he's got Vine Whip, and I could, I, I could do a Leech Seed, but I, I feel like I'll lose more health. Yeah, I feel like I'll lose more health, because I'm, I'm just like so high leveled. There you go, I stopped the beeping. Look at that, 75 HP. Uh, oh, tentacle, ooh, ooh. Have we ever fought a tentacle yet? Um, I'm just gonna look this up for a second while I switch out to Bugaboom, because tentacle is poison type. Uh, no, we haven't fought a tentacle yet. I, I have to keep scrolling around because uh, sometimes it comes up several times. Uh, tentacle is water poison type. I recommend using a Psychic type. Uh, Tentacle is actually a pretty decent choice uh, for a Water type Pokemon. I would recommend Shelda, but he, uh, Tentacle does have some pretty good speed, and his special stat is pretty high. Acid. That's why. That is why. Seriously, acid. Oh. Um. But yeah, Tentacle is actually a pretty nice choice. I wouldn't. I wouldn't uh, discourage you from using a Tentacle. Jeez! Why did that do so much more damage? Jeez! He almost took out Bugaboom. Your spirit sank me. Yeah, ha 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 ha, no. Um, so yeah. I'm a little bit afraid of fighting the rest of these guys. I'm gonna heal up. I'm gonna be right back. Okay, we're back. Uh, I've healed up, basically. Um... I, I would actually like to level up Bugaboom a little bit. Um, I, I know Bubba. I know Bubba is my key contender. You know what they say about sailors and fighting? They do it. <laughs> I don't know what is. Well, he does have a shelter, and he is level 21, which means that he is going to kick my butt. Unless if I sleep powder. Yes. These things don't seem to hit you. Sleeping stops them from attacking, full stop. Which means that I get a few turns where I can just keep spamming. Uh, also, thankfully, I'm attacking his special side and not his physical side. Because Shelter is great! Shelter is so strong. Oh, I can't believe I pulled off that sleep powder, man. That actually went pretty well. Which means I'm going to get a level. Yep. Knew it. Anyway, so let's head on. I like feisty kids. Like, oh gosh, sir, sir, back up, back up, sir, back up. Oh gosh. Anyway, we got more sailors. Um, th this guy has three horsies. You know, horsies not a bad Pokemon by any stretch of the imagination. Wah, 
bubbles! That was a critical hit, though. <laughs> I think it's just because Bubbles are just a very weak move. <laughs> can, can Bugaboom take all of these guys out? He's gotten two critical hits, jeez. And I'm fast. Oh, now I get the critical hit when I really don't need it. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, horsey! Well, hello there, Mr. Horsey. By the way, may I just say, some of these first generation Pokemon are kind of stupid. I know people are like first generation's the best, but seriously, when you look at it in such detail, you can see so many bad things. For example, Horse C is a bit of a poor name. Geo Dude, I think, is the most cringeworthy name in this game. Tauros, I don't even think is like a joke. It's more so a reference. As in Tauros, as in bulls, oxen. Well. These horses sure no bubble, I'll tell you that. Seriously, what's with the bubble? Bubbly 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 bubbly. Also, I I think, <sighs> but bubble isn't a word that's uh, that's associated with on and here, but it kind of reminds me of it. Cause you know the bees. Either that, or it could just be whoever invented it. Doesn't sound Latin. Doesn't sound Greek. I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna grab your item! It's another ether! Oh yeah, look at that seat. Uh, I'm gonna switch out Bugaboom, because I think, you know, level 20, that's that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna... Oh, I'm gonna keep Bubber up the back. Oh, actually, no. Nah, Bubber up the front, because these, are these guys are gonna have water types, and if I can deal them with them very easily... Yeah, of course you wanna keep your item to yourself. No! Our sailors have Pokemon too! What? <laughs> Did I ever said you didn't? I, I don't even know. Okay. Uh, so he's got a tentacle. Um, by the way, uh... Oh, actually, Bucket Moon would have been a good choice. Uh, by the way, a poison type will never get poisoned. Which is why Bubba has been pretty safe. I'm gonna use Vine Whip because it's, it's not gonna be strong against the poison, but it will be alright against the water. And a critical here is actually very nice. Why does it say it's not very effective? It's strong against water. And I think it calculated that as well. Appa okay, what's with the random damage d generator? It doesn't seem to be working. The, the random damage calculation, because there is a random number in damage calculation as well. Although I think in the next generation it's probably dulled down a bit. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, hey look, it's Sayu! Yeah! It's actually the same level as uh, Misty's. Very oh, come on, what's what what's we getting to the red part? I'm just gonna use tackle because I'm not gonna waste my vine webs. You you get a surprisingly low amount of vine webs. Do, 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 do. I am not bad. TM44. If I could scroll up in my document, I could tell you what it is. However, I will not, and I will just walk over here. Nah, nah, I'll tell you. Um, TM44 is rest. It basically puts you to sleep for three turns precisely, and then it wakes you up. However, on the first of those three turns, you fully heal your health. This is great for any Pokemon with so much health, because that basically means that things like Super Potions are actually very ineffective on Pokemon with high HP. Um, so rest just saves you so much effort. It's especially good for Pokemon like Chansey, which we haven't seen yet, but... Like you, you, you know what I mean. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leech at this guy because I think I'm all good. Does he is level 17 though? I feel like I'm gonna take him out pretty quickly. But by the way, you're gonna find so many Pokemon level 17. Uh, and the thing is that they can't really do anything until you get to the gym. The gym is, by the way, the the strongest Pokemon the gym has is a level 24. Uh, the gym also will have a few more trainers than before. Uh, which is interesting, but you know, I, th I think it's it's manageable. Also, you know, it would be really painful if I actually ran out of item slots. Cause I feel I feel like I might run out of item slots. I haven't been sorting my items really. I've got quite a few TMs just sitting in my inventory. Also, you've got a Staryu. You. I'm gonna stay in because the closer I get Bubba to leveling up, the better. And also, I'm gonna get all of my team's Pokemon by the next gym. Well, not by the next gym. 
but I will get quite a few of them by that gym. Uh, oh. Yeah, I will get quite a few of them. Like, I could say a good uh, two of them, uh, and then one of them is right after. Jeez, Bubba. You are strong, Bubba. Oh, Bubba. I'm going to stop making noises. Uh, so anyway, yeah. I also believe this is the last trainer in this bottom area. There are a lot of trainers here. There's more trainers on this floor than there are before Brock. What is this? On this floor of a boat! There's more Pokemon here! And he's gonna job. And I totally prepared for this. Poison powder away! Oh crap, karate job. Poison, by the way, uh, hurts your opponent after their turn. Leech Seed works after your turn, I believe. Oh, no, it happens after their turn as well. Also, what I love is that you can also confuse them right now. Yeah, you can you can stack all these things like crazy. I'm actually going to be out of Vine Whip, so... I got one more Vine Whip, so I may as well just switch to Tackle. Yeah, you see how much that's doing? Yeah, it's ridiculous. Poison does do a lot. However, there is an attack called Toxic, which deals... Uh, it, which inflicts, like, really poisoned, and it's actually very good. I recommend it. It's a bit low on the PP, but hey, how often are you going to use... Unless you keep missing, I guess. Uh, now I'm just going to switch out to Birdo, and hopefully we're going to be okay. We're done with this floor, and we're done with the first floor, but I don't exactly know, because there's still another hidden item, and I'm a little bit worried that I'm going to miss it. Uh, it's not that necessary. <laughs> it's not that necessary. Uh, when you get down to it, but it's just like... Actually, you know what? Perfect opportunity to heal up, so I'll see you guys next time. What? I, yeah, actually, I'll, I'll see... Okay. Uh, I'll see you kids next time, when we'll continue on with the SSN, and we will... possibly take on the gym, because there's not that much of the ship left, actually. So, I'll see you kids then. See you kids. Stop it.